वेलकम जो ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द चैनल मैथ्स विद मुनीर आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड वाचिंग माय वीडियोस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द डेरिवेटिव एंड वी हैव लर्न दैट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द पावर रूल ऑफ अ डेरिवेटिव एंड वी विल आल्सो लर्न अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट रूल ऑफ अ डेरिवेटिव सो लेट्स बिगिन विद फर्स्ट द पावर रूल what does power rule says in general now obviously power rule for power rule you must need to have some power in the variable let's assume that we have a function y is equals to x power n and we want to calculate the derivative of uh, that function so we will apply d by dx on both side and d by dx over here as well so dy by dx would become dy by dx and over here so now the power rule says that first this power n will come first n and then you will subtract 1 from the power n minus 1 and then you will take the derivative of that variable except power so n x n minus 1 derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 so we will also learn that how the derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 okay so this is what actually power rule now let's assume that we have a function f of x equals to x so what we are going to do now we we are learning that how the derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 So let's assume that we have a function f of x equals to x, and in my previous video we have discussed a lot in detail that the derivative f prime of x actually can be written as limit h approaches to zero f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So If you are new to my channel and watching my videos for the first time I would encourage you to please watch the first video of derivative then you will be able to know that how f prime of x can be equals to written to this one Now limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h once you put it over here it will give you x plus h and minus f of x is equals to x over h Now this x with cancel with this one and we are left with limit h approach to approaches to 0 h over h equals to 1 so limit h approaches to 0 equals to 1 since 1 is a constant number and limit you can't apply it over there so it would become 1 so you see we have we got that if you have a function f of x equals to x so by the definition of limit its derivative is going to give you 1 so that is how we write that the derivative of, of of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 it doesn't mean that x always with respect to x is going to give you 1 but if somewhere we have written y with respect to y it will also give you 1 if it is it's written u with respect to u it will also give you 1 so this is basically the power rule that we have so what we are going to do now now we will solve one example and we will learn that how actually the power rule applies Okay so let's assume that we have f of x equals to let's say x power 4 now we want to calculate its derivative so f prime of x power says power will come first then you will subtract 1 from power like n x n minus 1 and then by removing the power you will take its uh, its derivative now 4x 4 minus 1 will be 3 so derivative of x with respect to x will give you 1 we have just proved that and i hope that you have got it so if somewhere you are still confused you can go back to the video you can rewind it and you can learn that how the derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 so it would become 4x cube so the derivative of f of x equals to f x4 is going to give you 4x cube So now we are done with the first objective that how to find the uh, how to apply basically the power rule of any function so now what we are going to do we will learn the product rule as well so since as its name suggests product rule it means that you should have more than 
you should have two or more than two function so in general in general we have let's suppose y is written as f of x g of x and we want to apply the derivative we want to find the derivative on this so we will take d by dx of y and d by dx of both these function which is f of x and g of x so first we will keep f of x as constant and we will find out we will apply the derivative on g of x plus now we will take now we will keep g of x as constant and we will apply d by dx of on f of x so f of x derivative of g of x with respect to d of x it it will give you g prime of x plus g of x and over here you will get f prime of x so this is the basically the rule that we are having that how to apply the product rule once we have two or more than two function uh, on any in any uh, function y is equals to f of x okay what if if we are in this case we have talked about if we have two functions so what if if we are having uh, more than two functions let's learn the rule for that as well so let's say now y is f of x g of x and h of x as well so we will do slight change over here h of x and this would be little change now you will keep f of x and g of x as constant and then you will take the derivative of h of x plus now you will keep f of x and h of x as constant and you will take the derivative of g of x plus we are done with h of x we are done with g of x so now we are left with only f of x so what we will do we will keep h of x and g of x over here and we will we will write f of x with d by x so this would become f of x g of x derivative of h of x will give you h prime of x plus f of x h of x and g of x will give you g prime of x plus h of x g of x and this f of x with respect to d of x it will give you f prime of x and so on so now you have learned that once you have one two and three function in in terms of x so you will keep two as a constant and then you will take the derivative of third then you will take the other two as a constant and then and so on and so on so now let's solve quickly a quick example and we will learn that how basically we apply the product rule once we have two functions okay now let's say y is equals to 2x square plus 4 into x cube plus 7 okay you see this is your f of x and this is your g of x uh, uh, g of x now over here we can also say that y is written in terms of x so we can say that this is our explicit function y it's an explicit function because all uh, because all the values of x are written on one side of the equation and all the values of y over here actually we have one are written on one side of the equation so if we uh, if the function is written y is equals to f of x then we can say that it's an explicit function now over here we want to find out its derivative so we will write 2x square plus 4 into x cube plus 7 okay derivative of y with respect to x it would become dy by dx now over here 
like the way I said in, gen in the general formula, we will keep 2x square plus 4 over here. We will treat it as constant. Actually, it's not, but we will treat it like this. And then we will take the derivative of x cube plus 7. Plus, now we will keep x cube plus 7 as constant. And then we will take the derivative of 2x square plus 4. Okay, 2x square plus 4 will be over here. Derivative of x cube will be what? Like the power rule. Power will come first and then you will subtract 1 from the power. So, 1 power will come first, it would be 3. Subtract 1 from the power, 3 minus 1 will give you 2. Then the derivative of x with respect to x will be 1. So, we are not writing that. And 7 is a constant and the derivative of constant is going to give you actually uh, 0. Okay, so it would be over here. Now let's learn this point. Uh, uh, le let's learn this point that how the derivative of constant is going to give you zero. So if you have, let's suppose f of x is a function like c. Okay, f of x is a function equals to c, where this c could be any real number. It could be any real number. Okay, like I said in my previous video and in the beginning of this video, I wrote that f prime of x will be equals to limit h approaches to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, we are having a constant function. We are having a constant function. You can even take a graph. Let us say that this c is actually equals to 2. So, this is 1 and this is 2. So, the graph is like this. So, no matter whatever values of x you are taking, let us say x equals to 0, it is giving you 2 x it once you no matter whatever values of x you are taking, the values of y will always be equals to 2. So, so x plus h will always give you equals to c. So, limit h approaches to 0. Here you will get c minus f of x is equals to c over h. Now, limit h approaches to 0. c minus c will give you what? 0 over h and this will give you 0. So, you see, once we are finding the derivative of a constant, it will always give you 0. So, that is how I wrote that the derivative of a 7 with respect to x will give you this. Now, I am removing this so that we could carry on with our question. Now, plus x cube plus 7. Now, 2x square. 2 will come over here. 2 will come over here. Once we take the derivative of x square, it will give you 2 will come first. Again, we will apply the power rule. Subtract 1 from the power 2 minus 1 will give you 1. Derivative of x with respect to x will give you 1. And then this plus 4 will be 0. So, bracket close. Okay. Multiply these two. 3x square with this. 3 times 2 will give you 6. x4 plus 3 times 4, 12 x square plus x cube plus 7 into 4 x. Multiply them as well. 6 x 4 plus 12 x square plus 4 x 4 plus 28 x. So, now we will see if somewhere we can simplify it. Uh, yeah, 6 x 4 plus 4 x 4 will give you 10 x 4, then we have 12 x square, then we have 28 x. So, this is our answer. Now, I would like to highlight one thing over here that f of x, g of x for our two function. If, if let us suppose somewhere you see that you do not want to apply the product rule, then what you can do? You can simply multiply f of x and g of x together and then you will have one bracket and then you can apply the same derivative. So, let us do with that and we will cr have a cross check whether we are getting the same result or not. So, I am removing these three steps for now and then we will compare our solution with it. So, now I am solving the same question with different technique. What we did initially, initially we applied the product rule. But now, we are multiplying these two bracket, it will 
once you multiply 2x square with x cube it will give you 2x5 and once you apply this multiply this with 7 it will give you 14x square plus 4 times this 4x cube and then 4 times 7 will give you 28 so if somewhere we can add terms then we can but over here all the terms are different equals to y now take d by dx on both side 2x5 plus 14x square plus 4x cube plus 28 so again 2 will come first once you take the uh, derivative of x5 it will give you 5x4 we apply the power rule again then plus 14 time don't forget this doesn't mean point these two are multiplying together so now 14 times x square will give you 2x plus 4 times x cube will give you 3x square plus 28 will give you 0 and we have learned that how the derivative of a constant function is actually equals to 0 okay it will give you 10x4 plus 28x plus 4 times 3 12x square so now compare this result with this one and let's see whether we are having the same 10x4 10x4 28x and here we have 28x and then 12x square and 12x square so we have learned that if somewhere we don't want to apply the product rule then we can multiply those two function we can take the derivative and we can get the answer but let me tell you one thing more you are not always going to have the same situation where you can always multiply the terms together and then you can take the derivative the way I did over here let's suppose that if you have a function x equals x times 4x plus 3 over 3x plus 7 so you see we, we can't multiply this x with inside of the bracket and we, we this is your f of x and this is your g of x and still we want to calculate the derivative of, of this function which is actually your y so that is why derivative function is uh, the product rule in the derivative of a function is very important that you need to you must need to learn that so in my coming video we will discuss about how to calculate the derivative of such function and we will also learn about the quotient rule of a derivative so i am i am hopeful that you have got this video so please don't forget to subscribe and share this video as much as you can so that it could reach to maximum students